In the animal kingdom, finding a mate is one of life's most important milestones. Our mate is more than a companion, but a confidant, cohort, and cuddle collector. When it comes time to align oneself with a partner, choose carefully. The standard of love is ride or die on our, our domestic world. world. Just before spring has sprung, winter's frost still lingers in the air, like poetry on the lips of a lover. The cool brings us into proximity, but blossoms emerge, as does romance. The mood is set, and expectations are high. Within the home, where potential mates are limited, partnerships between different species break boundaries. Opposites can certainly attract, especially for cats that don't necessarily feel strongly either way. Of the avian phylum, the bird order Plasticoidea is known to mate for life. Just don't tell her this overly affectionate blue parakeet is floozy for anyone with a yellow beak. These instances show us that a deep connection knows no biological limit. Love's benefits transcend procreation and protection, especially if treats are at stake. When one enters into a respecting, consensual relationship, emotional wellness and friendship are a given. Not to mention the smoochies, rubs, noms, butt sniffs, and free grooming that accompany said relationship. How do these romances develop? Get a girl some catnip, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Acts of courtship are initiated in the home tentatively. First, the interested party must express their arduous desires. Oh my God, what's it doing? A butt sniff alone will do, but the particular personalities may require a little more finesse. Depending on the object of one's desire, there is certainly a love language that speaks to their sensibilities. Is it sweet words they want? Or is it simply time and attention that is craved? A soothing touch, and if nothing else, a present will do. How will your Harry Casanova find love in our, our domestic, domestic world? The computer hums with anticipation. The water cooler emits a patient gurgle in wait. A tail lightly dusts off the keyboard. Coffee brews as the sun peaks above the horizon. The day's work is ready to begin, and the home office is officially open for business on Our Domestic World. The hunt here is not for prey, but rather productivity. A conscientious and intuitive pet will understand their role in the home office. Employees must wear many hats when resources are short. As for spinning. The common administrative raccoon intuits the fulfillment of companionship when the human works so hard to provide for the household in a solitary environment. And to check wire connectivity, of course. The secretarial skills of pets, such as the housebird, are relatively unknown until introduced to the home office. Once fully acclimated to the professional milieu, their talents for note-taking and technical support should be applied at every opportunity. He's scratching his head. <laughs> Creating an optimal professional environment is vital to the economic health of the home. Business Monkey won't let you fool around when an important deadline looms, for the sanctity of the home office is such that productivity must never be negotiated. Yet, in any working environment, we are but only living beings tempted by distraction. 
These mental breaks keep morale high, and the demanding attentus nidus canis gets her chin scratched. If your IT department looked like this, wouldn't you be in a better mood to call upon their services? Perhaps sniffing the screen is the one troubleshooting method you skipped. Without our home co-workers, the digital spiral continues to pull the information hungry further into the abyss. Work is what gives social beings purpose. <laughs> Without a role to fulfill, we are likely to languish and become apathetic. The lines between home and office blur in this modern age of technological advancement, and it takes a concentrated connection to stay grounded. Whether your darling pet makes an ace assistant or an entertaining diversion, you'll find ways to keep profit margins high in the home office of Our Domestic World.